Listen, folks, Mr. Zen 1010, um, I had to make this tape because it popped into my mind a few minutes ago. Uh, watching the wonderful Miami Heat come back from uh, the brink of uh, elimination uh, this past week was a wonderful thing to watch. And the reason that it was wonderful to watch is it, it, we all know that Mr. LeBron James is by far the probably the best basketball player right now on the planet. Given all of the strengths that he has and all of the things that he does on a daily basis, his unselfish uh, ways that he has, and his ability to uh, attack, his ability to shoot the basketball, his ability to dribble, to pass, and to, uh, to be a team leader are, are all wonderful things. But the thing that I noticed that was the most important about LeBron James the other night, and I noticed it while I was watching the game, there was a very, very relaxed facial muscle uh, demeanor about LeBron James indicating to me and you people that have been there will know that being in the zone is the most wonderful place an athlete can be in competition. Now LeBron James, if I'm not badly mistaken, was in the zone the other night. And being in the zone, uh, you know if you're an athlete, I've been a teaching tennis professional for over 30 years, and I've tried to, uh, through words, make it possible for my students uh, to get to be in the zone. But unfortunately, uh, it is akin to Zen Buddhism, and you cannot uh, you cannot uh, will yourself nor speak words in order to put yourself there. You're already in the zone, and then any time you're not in the zone, you have made yourself leave the zone through some sort of a tense mind that you might have. Now look, folks, the Miami Heat can beat this Oklahoma City basketball team, but they're going to have to do it a point at a time. People used to, I uh, used to ask my students, Students, how do you win a tennis match? And very few of them could ever come up with the correct answer. The correct answer is not all of the preparation. It's not all of the strategy. It's not all of the training. It's not any of those things. It's you win a tennis match one point at a time. And you do most anything in life one step at a time. You live one moment at a time, not a day at a time. You know, the AA program, the 12-step programs that are designed to help people through uh, crises and, and almost anything in life, they've almost got it right, but how could they go for years and years and make the mistake of saying, do it a day at a time? You can't do anything a day at a time, folks. Folks, how could you people have missed this? A day at a time is 24 hours. You can't do anything 24 hours at a time. That's ridiculous. It's a moment at a time. Life is lived at a moment at a time and actually saying a unit of time even down as small as a moment at a time is really pushing it. You live life now. That's all you have. You have memories of the past, and you have thoughts of the future, but you do not have the uh, other, the, either one of those things. You have now. Now, if you want to win in tennis, you'll play every point a, a point, every match a, a point at a time, and you will live life a moment at a time. It produces the most wonderful, relaxed feeling that you could ever have. It makes you feel as though everything is okay. There is security. There is warmth. And there is grand and great clarity of the human mind when it is idling, when it is not holding on to thoughts. Similar to a rubber ball floating down a river stream, the rubber ball 
ball never grabs the sides. It continually moves downstream, carefree, bouncing along. The mind is kind of like that. The eyes are kind of, uh, they see, but they're not forced to see. You don't have to tell your eyes to see. You don't have to tell your nose to smell. You don't have to tell your feet to move. All of these things are done for you by the mysterious and beautiful workings of the human body. Picture something, it'll happen. Jack Nicholas used to talk about picturing his putts going in and the biomechanics of the human body would uh, follow that suit, the picture that you have in your mind, and it would make it happen. So follow Mr. LeBron James, uh, the rest of the Heat players. Follow the zone pattern. His face was relaxed. He had a wonderfully clear and idle mind it seemed as the as the day went on and he was just raining down those shots one after the other what a beautiful thing and he took the world on his shoulders he took the team not by trying to be mr smart ass but by being a quiet minded clarity filled human being exercising the beautiful footwork the beautiful stroke, the sweet shots that he had, and all he did was keep his mind in a in an idle position, filled with clarity, and neither did he think about or not think about. It was just a mind at idle, and he was doing it all as a natural-born man. Get with it, guys. You can beat these this team and bring home that championship. Do it a point at a time. And Mr. Zen 1010, that kind of gives you a hint at where I got my name from. It stems from that clarity of Zen Buddhism. I still love Jesus, but I tell you, Zen is where you run your mind. Take it easy, folks. Good luck, Heat. And let's bring home the championship. Have a good day, Mr. Zen 1010. Somewhere deep in the heart of Hollandale, Florida. See y'all later, folks. And don't get nothing on you. Bye-bye.